time to go to Philadelphia. Johnny Cole driving this time. Hey, John. Hey. What's the theme of this trip to Philadelphia? Philly. Yeah, Philly. Take her to the zoo. <laughs> But now it's time for my one stop that I gotta make. You better believe it. Long flight, but we got the Wawa sandwiches, and we're gonna enjoy them. And oh my! What were you doing? I said I was sorry. I usually travel alone. I forgot you were in there. You just... This is it, silent treatment, okay. Then go do some of your own stuff then. If I've done something and I've explored a character, why would I do it again? <laughs> My instinct is to look for something quite different. I love Kathleen Turner. She came down last night. We just dropped her at the train station this morning. My parents on uh, Pierce Birchmont, so ah, she's in my She's great. Tom Wilson is here with us today. Went okay, signing the wall of fame. Oh, sir, excuse me, sorry, it's just for its luggage. A movie in the 50s starring Steve McQueen about a blob that takes over a small town in America. That town was Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. The blob takes over a small town theater called the Colonial Theater. Buckle your seat belts. These historical places in Pennsylvania are amazing. Everett Anderson from the 4th Pennsylvania Reserves during the Civil War won the Congressional Medal of Honor for single-handedly capturing uh, Confederate General Robert Vance. He's buried over here, as is the Longaball family. Harry Longaball was the Sundance Kid, uh, from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. His whole fa he's from Phoenixville. His whole family is buried here in the Morris Cemetery before he went to Bolivia to be uh, shot to death with Paul Newman. Phoenixville, where my sister lives, is about a mile that way. That was established in 1737. This is Valley Forge, established in 1776. This is uh, the Grand Parade, huge field that was used by the ragtag and disorganized colonial army to march, learn to fight, their feet wrapped in rags. And that horrible winter at Valley Forge, whipped into shape by Friedrich Wilhelm Baron von Steuben, who came and, and uh, treated them to teaching them how to pronounce his name. Naked and starving as they are, we cannot enough admire the incomparable patience and fidelity of the soldiery, Washington at Valley Forge, February 16, 1778. Thanks, troops. In honor of the troops of the Colonial Army at Valley Forge, I slept like an hour last night and I'm not wearing a jacket. It's uncomfortable. 95.7, Ben FM, try them for 30 days risk free. It's a deal. You're so funny. It was good. I still want to know what kind of drugs you're doing to look exactly the same. Hey, I don't look exactly you the same. You do. You look exactly the same. You just want me to Multivitamins say. and clean living. And living in the greatest country on God's green earth. <laughs> when you were on when, uh, when we did the, uh, the Veterans Radio thing. Yes, and we you told us a story about you and uh, what, what's, what's the, the quarterback's name um, that you get mistaken for? Uh, uh, Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman, Aikman yeah. Troy Aikman. That's still going on, Tro too? It's still going on because I get because both guys are retired. Mm -hmm. The two quarterbacks that I always uh, get, get confused with, which are Troy Aikman right. and Warren Moon. Oh, so <laughs> it's really... <laughs> but what? But what?
worried about Mr. Blue. He's been gone two days now. He has friends downtown, so I don't know. He's hanging out somewhere. It's happened before. He's never been gone this long. Mr. Blue? Mr. Blue! Take it to the zoo!